This project started a couple of years ago when I was sitting in a hotel in Buffalo trying to make sense of the flowery pattern that covered its floors. Why did it look like that? And who designed it? These two questions sent me into a journey into the workings of the flooring industry, the hotel and gaming brands with which it communicates, and most important, into some of the most extreme expressions of carpet space being produced today. We opened the show with a nod to the history of architecture, in which works such as Constant's New Babylon sought to create infinite spaces of possibility. We then show, as you go into the exhibition, how this idea of liberation was hijacked and transformed in advanced capitalist spaces. The exhibition includes four sections, each providing a partial answer to the question, who is really behind the design of carpets? For each section, filmmaker Ralitza Doncheva created a video in which an object, which may be a proprietary software or a carpet in a Paul Rudolph building, speaks in the first person and layers the contents of the show with narrative and atmosphere. I've been stepped on many times, but I make this concrete hall inhabitable. Look at me. You may not understand the meaning of these patterns, or be able to break down their complexity into visual building blocks. Behold, the faithful are assembling for the ceremony in my honor. It occurs once a year in the Marriott site in Atlanta, where the famous carpet used to be. Here I roll, but you rarely notice. I've seen gamers oblivious to fire alarms going off even to other gamblers being defibrillated on the floor next to them, keeping their gaze on the machine. The surrounding walls feature photographs by artist Asaf Evron. These are the result of a sortie we took a while back to some of the most extreme cases of carpet space. Each photograph as a result not only documents a space, but exposes a specific way a carpet performs in relation to its host architecture. By diving into the design of spaces that we rarely stop to consider, I hope visitors will both stop to reflect on the agency of elements such as the carpet, and also how spaces activate and even manipulate us, which is a risk and a potential for architecture today. <laughs>